Welcome to Lexum Answer. Today we're going to do a simple text analysis. So just uh, start a project here. Um, this is the first screen you'll see when you start Lexum Answer. I'm going to click on my Lexum Answer Projects folder and go Create Project. So let's just call it Test and OK. Now you'll see the project control panel has opened up over here. Uh, if I open up this folder, I'll see there's some projects I've already got, and there's my test project. Uh, and I'm controlling that test project at the moment. The, um, the screen here is um, it's like a model builder. So you've got a, a sequence of processes, uh, each of which needs to run in turn before you generate the output from the end of this pipeline. And at each stage, you can adjust the settings for the next, for the upcoming stage of processing. So the first one, we, the first stage is select documents. So let's go and select some data. I'm going to pull this in from my hard disk. And uh, I'm going to go and finding it. Um, let's go to documents. And text data and so I'm going to pull in uh, some uh, Royal Commission hearings. So this is a set of data from a Royal Commission, a uh, Commission of Inquiry into an explosion at a factory in, in Britain, actually in Scotland. So uh, there's a folder here of multiple documents. Each document is a transcript from one day of the hearings. Um, so to, to select the whole folder, I simply um, clicked on the folder and dragged it across, as you saw there. So I could do it again. Um, I could remove it. So I just select that and remove it, and then drag it across again. You can select single files. So again, if I were to do that, or I just wanted one day's transcript, I could take that across. Um, Select it and remove that as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab the whole folder, all 24 days of transcripts. You'll notice over here you can set various things like the language, the character encoding. Um, that's uh, more advanced. We can uh, you know, you can look at that later when you need to. But for now, we'll just hit OK after after selecting our data. Now the simplest thing to do, which is what I'll do now. Is, is just run the whole processing pipeline. So you could go and click each stage. You could generate concept seeds, generate thesaurus, and generate the concept map. But you don't have to do that. If you don't want to change any of the intermediate settings, you could just run the final stage, and it will run all the intermediate stages of the pipeline as well. I can see down here, it's telling me which stage is running, and uh, You can see it's going through different uh, sub parts of the processing here. As it progresses, these uh, will gradually turn green. So this stage, generate concept seeds, has finished processing. Now it's uh, doing the generate thesaurus stage. This, uh, this is a fair amount of data. It's 24 days of transcripts from a, you know, a hearing with multiple people speaking. So it's um, you know, quite a few megs of data, of text data. But uh, Lexamancer can do uh, you know, many gigabytes of text without uh, too much trouble. Although the more data you have, the more memory you will need to, uh, to process it. So gradually turning all the stages green as they run. And uh, the last stage is running now. The various data exports as well, uh, which which you can get to, but the the most uh, accessible and the um, most obvious output for for uh, certainly for a first analysis, and uh, you know even after many years, this is a, where I go to first to get an overview of the data, get an idea of what's in it. So I'm going to open the concept map by clicking there. 
So this is the model that Lex Venza has built. And we can minimize the project um, list, you know, project hierarchy, and, uh, and have a look at the model that's been built. On the left-hand side is what's called the concept map. It's a concept network, concept map. Um, it's, a, it's a model that's often used other, uh, for uh, semantic data, and it can be called a semantic network. Uh, we'll talk about that more in a second. On the right-hand side are the more quantitative outputs. So uh, there, is, there are multiple tabs here that you can, you can move through. The first one is the easiest one to analyze. This is it's called the analyst synopsis, and this is meant to be a quick overview of the data, of the whole data, all 24 days of transcripts. It shows you the important themes uh, in the order of, of strength within the data. It shows you how many pieces of text, um, like in this case, two sentence chunks of text, um, are supporting each theme. So for example, I can see that the the hottest theme, the, the red theme, is called Pipework, and has about 5,000 pieces of text uh, which support it. Um, and then there's a theme about a tank, an ass assessment, um, that's a name of a company called Kalor, actually, and so forth. So um, each one of these is a theme, and we can go and see what that theme is about. If I click on Pipework and have a look at it, I can see that theme is pipework. It's composed of several concepts, pipework, LPG, gas system, case, use. So these are the concepts that uh, form that theme. And then I can see that the top five most relevant pieces of text that uh, talk about that theme. There are, of course, a lot more than five. There's 5,000 pieces of text, as you can see there. Um, and to, to see all of those, you can click on this list of concepts. There's actually a link. And that shows you all 5,026 pieces of text uh, from wherever they occur throughout the data. And uh, you can see a lot of conversations about the pipework, the gas, LPG tanks, and so forth. So each piece of text is uh, a text segment, approximately two sentences. Um, certainly maximum of two sentences long. And uh, if you want to see where that piece of text actually occurred within the document, within the transcript, you can click on the, the link here. And that goes and shows you where that piece of text appeared in its context. So you can read around. There are ways to um, export these pages of data. For example, on this page, there are 10 text segments listed. We can export this page of text segments and uh, see them all listed there. So you can copy and paste that. Control A, Control C. That will copy them into your paste buffer and then you can drop them into a document. You can also, in this view, you can actually scroll through and see, you can page through all 5,000 pieces of text if you wish. So that's the analyst synopsis. Um, when you've glanced at uh, a particular theme, you can go back to the top and look at the next theme, the tank theme, tank, pipe, pressure, test, valve, customer, corrosion. The, the constituent concepts, and we can see the text segments support that discussion about the tank. Um, so, if you need a, a kind of a single page a synopsis, a summary of a large amount of text, this this is what you need: the annual synopsis. But uh, there's a lot more to see in Lex and Answer. You can move across the tabs here, and you can see. The concept list. So these are the concepts that have been found in the data. And this is ordered by frequency. And you can see um, you can see the top rank concept is pipe work, tank, gas, pipe, paragraph, uh, and so forth. You can click on a concept like tank 
and you can see what it's related to. So you're actually analyzing a data cube here. This is the tank concept, and I can see within this cube uh, what are the concepts that it's strongly related to. So the tank is related to a wall, a valve, um, the top of something, customer, factory, pressure, test, and so forth. So these are the, the word-like concepts. You can see they extracted proper names here as well. Um, so tank is also related to LPG. And there's a company called Kalor. And we could try and find out what is the relationship between the tank and this entity called Kalor by clicking on the magnifying glass here. And this shows me all the pieces of text where these two concepts co-occur. So you can see there's a relationship between a company called Kalor and the tank, and particularly the installation of the tank. And again, you have tools to export or, or log pieces of text, so you can use them later in your reports. So that's, uh, so that's the concepts that co-occur with tank. Uh, we can look at any other concept. We can look at um, you know, the, uh, the fire, for instance. What concepts are related to the fire? So there, there's an explosion on the premises, and we can go and e examine that relationship um, wherever it occurred in the data. So this gives you a directed search through the data using the Concept Explorer. Um, in more detail, um, will X answer concepts? What do they look like? Well, we can actually see them here in the Thesaurus tab. I can see what each concept is actually made of, what it looks like. So there's a concept called building that's been discovered from the data. And if I select that concept, I can see the words in the text that have gathered together, that the software has learned these words are, are a family of terms which indicate the idea of a building. And they're ranked by relevancy to the concept. So the most relevant term to the building concept is building itself. And then there's mill, uh, warrant, grove park, which is the name of the location, tower, collapsed, chimney, stability, building with a capital, that's uppercase ver version of building, pitched, shook, rectangular. So this Lexamancer's deep uh, learning has extracted a family of words from the data, which which contribute towards the idea of a building. And then it uses this list of words to code. So it can decide when a piece of text is about a building. If it has the word chimney and stability in, it would add up the evidence and predict that two sentences is about building if it contains these pieces of evidence, these, these related terms. And so it codes those pieces of text with the name of each concept and that's how you get these concept statistics. So, for example, gas, the concept gas is, occurs in 1,254 text segments, and uh, that means that 1,254 text segments have been coded or classified using that thesaurus to be about the concept gas, even if they don't contain the, the particular word gas. So you get implicit coding. These are called latent, latent concepts. Um, the query tab gives you your own query engine, so you can do your own Boolean concept and keyword queries in this. Um, so each project gives you your own little search engine. Um, summaries tab gives you some uh, quick summaries of each file, so each, <coughs> each particular day. This particular day of the inquiry, you can see a sample, and then you can see the uh, the highlights. So these are like the the key frames in a video. You can see the the key paragraphs from the data. Okay, so that's the right hand side of the map. On the left hand side, you have the concept map, which is the highest level. It's a bird's eye view of the data. It's it's like a map. It's showing you the continents and rivers and mountains within the data. So we can see, if I hide the concepts using this visible concept slider, I can see the simplest view 
is some themes. These are collections of concepts. We've talked about concepts. Each of these bubbles for the color is a collection of concepts. And so in the analysis synopsis on the right hand side, the red theme is called pipework. It's the strongest theme. And you can see this corresponds to the red bubble, which is called pipework. So this is the strongest cluster of concepts within the data. And I can see each of the other ones, tank, building, uh, assessment, evidence, each has their own bubble on the map. And uh, I'm going to reorient this so I have a little bit more uh, room to zoom into it. So I'm going to turn it outside and then I'm going to use the zoom button to make it a little bit larger. So each of these themes is composed of like a constellation of concepts. And we can start showing the concepts. We can bring them in, in the order of importance. So I can see LPG, pipework, gas appearing in this theme, uh, the pressure testing and the pipe and the tank, uh, and risk assessment over here. So I can, I can bring in concepts in decreasing order of importance until I get the view that I would like. And uh, so this, this map, this concept map, is meant to tell a story. It's meant to say that here is a theme, an idea of a tank. And within that, there are narratives, little stories about uh, a pipe, tank, valve, a pressure test, or there's corrosion in the pipework, um, leading to an LPG tank. Um, and uh, if I show some more concepts, I can see here concepts around assessment, uh, risk assessments, site visits, premises, um, building, there's a basement area, looks like there's a coating of them. So the uh, Lexamansa map, the model, is meant to um, so you can read the stories from it. You can see the emphasis, what the important ideas are, and what the stories are within each of those bubbles. You can also see how the each of the themes uh, can overlap with another theme. Like the overlap between the tank, the pipework, and the building is not a coincidence. It's an important aspect of the data. And in fact, the root cause of, of the explosion actually lies in this intersection here, uh, the corrosion protection on the pipework. So there are also a bunch of tools, a button bar at the top of the map. Uh, so you can you know, take snapshots of the map, uh, export them. You can change some of the uh, appearance, uh, the, uh, the size and, um, and the layout, and, uh, and reset the map. You can also, if you can't find a concept, uh, you can use this alphabetical listing find where a particular concept is. So if we want to find where the explosion concept appears, it can show you that. It can also show you the connections, what concepts co-occur with explosion as these red lines. And you can see those lines are mirrored over here. Um, we can see what concepts co-occur with explosion in the ranked list to the right, as well as visually on the map. So that's a first Lex for analysis. There's obviously a lot more that you can do with the, with the software and uh, the, the manual is on our website and we do train people as well. But um, yeah, so this is, this is the way you can get awareness very rapidly of what's in a very large collection of documents. Thank you.